Great day. Welcome to the House of Masculinity. I'm your host, Black Jack. Today is Wednesday, October 13, 2021. And uh, today we're talking motorcycles. We're talking, we talking passion. We're talking hobbies. We're talking about um, um, what uh, drives you in life. You know, what gets you going. And you know, all men have to have something that gets them going in life. Something that drives them. Some passion. Some hobbies. Definitely outside of women. You know what I'm saying? If, if a woman is what drives you, if a woman is your hobby, if a woman is your passion, you have no hobby, you have no passion, you have no goals. All right. So one of my goals and my passion, my hobbies, the things that drive me in particular is motorcycles. This in particular is a 2003 Suzuki Savage that I converted into a barber. Uh, not only did I convert it into a barber, I converted it into an electric barber. Yeah, I took the gasoline motor out and I installed the... Uh, uh, 12 kilowatt, 36 kilowatt surge brushless DC motor from Motenergy. And I also added a uh, Kelly 450 ounce speed control, and I built the battery box and installed a few uh, lithium batteries. Uh, I painted the bike black, removed the, the rear seat, did a few things to uh, convert it into the barber look. I did uh, put some uh, emblems on there, uh, right back out, Savage on the bike. Cause it was on the tank before I painted it, but uh, I lost the G off one of the emblems. Somehow the adhesive came loose. I got to get another G. But yeah, basically, um, the bike is street legal. Um, I do have a plate on the bike. I ride the bike around town. Everybody uh, likes the bike. Uh, cops have even stopped me and uh, just inquire about the bike. Um, yeah, but uh, it's definitely a head turner. Uh, everywhere I take it, taking it to the uh football games, taking it out to the nightlife downtown, and yeah, everybody seems to like it. Uh, but yeah, I spent a, um, probably close to $4,000 converting this motorcycle into an electric motorcycle. Um, it's powered by a um, 104 volt lithium battery pack at about uh, 50 amp hours. I've had it up to about 80 miles an hour, and it'll probably get about 60 on um, miles to a charge with the current battery pack that it has in it but i plan on um doubling up the battery pack to uh, double up the range um yeah but um basically i got it uh geared i got a uh 13.2 sprocket on the motor and i got a 52 tooth uh sprocket on the uh, rear wheel uh gives you a uh uh, basically, a uh, four to one ratio. So yeah, yeah, the bike is pretty powerful. Um, it, it's very quiet to ride, and it's fun. Yeah, I thought I'd um, let you guys check it out. You know, like I say, guys got to have hobbies. You got to have passion. All that's masculine energy, building, using your hands, using 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 your logical thinking. You know, you know what I'm saying. Hey. Those are the advantages of being the man, having the patience, the discipline to sit down and uh, work on a project and get it done. You know, that's a masculine energy. That's not um, a feminine energy. And speaking of masculine and feminine energies, um, you know, it's been a mo it's, it's been not, not even a movement going on. Basically, masculinity has um, people have awakened the sleeping giant with all the trends that's been going on in society and everything that um. The world has been doing, trying to emasculate men. Uh, they've actually awakened the sleeping giant, and men are uh, had it up to here, and um, and you know, and you got you got to always um, you got to always do something to fuel your masculine fire. Don't let nobody put it out. You know what I'm saying? Don't let no. And if any men that are around you who align themselves with feminine energy or feminine ideology, remove those men from yourself. I don't care if they family or whoever. Remove yourself from them. And any women who have this um, toxic feminist energy, remove yourself from that person. I don't care if it's family or whoever. It's negative energy. It's toxic. And you shouldn't have yourself around it. And when you look at those people's lives, uh, you see it's a telltale story of what's going on inside them. But uh, anyway, this is uh, Black Jack, House of Masculinity. You're going to respect my house and we'll let the donut hit you with the most high split your peace.